You would agree that there was negative publicity about Mr. Depp before the op-ed, correct? Yes. You know that Ms. Hurd made her accusations public starting in May of 2016, right? Yes. And, and Hollywood knew about that, right? Yes. Okay. And Mr. Depp still had movies after May of 2016, right? Yes. Okay. Now, you would agree that there was pu negative publicity about Mr. Depp being publicly drunk before the op-ed, correct? Uh, there was, I, I, I agree with the proposition that there was negative publicity before the op-ed. The op-ed was something different. And you agree, it, is it, in 2014, there was an article in The Guardian that said apparently drunk Johnny Depp cut off at Hollywood Film Award Ceremony. Would you agree with that? Again, I, I don't remember reading the, the Guardian, uh, and I don't remember that particular incident, but I, I'll take you uh, at your word. And you, were, you remember in looking through all the documents that you saw an article that Johnny Depp allegedly showed up drunk to movie premiere, reports say, right? That was in 2017. I, I think I've testified that, uh, that it, there, there is certainly Johnny Depp behavior and, and uh, uh, negativity out there, yes. And, and that, a family, that, a family, that a family production studio like Disney wouldn't want to be associated with, correct? Uh, again, you're talking about a very specific, uh, uh, you know, uh, series of five films that earn billions of dollars, uh, and there is a line in Hollywood, as I've said, they'll put up with divas and drugs to make money, uh, but now we've drawn a line uh, in Hollywood at uh, the um, uh, domestic abuse. And, and in looking through the documents, you saw the articles in June of 2018 that said vodka for breakfast, 72-hour drug binges, and spending sprees that beggar belief. You, you saw that? Again, I, I know these articles exist. I know they're not in the Washington Post. I don't know what article you're referring to, who wrote it, uh, you know, what publication it was in, but I know that those articles exist. And you'd agree that before the op-ed, Mr. Depp had a run of movie flops, wouldn't you agree? Every actor has, uh, you know, ups and downs. Mr. Depp, his, his career's been decades long. You would agree uh, that in, in January of 2015, there was an article that said Johnny Depp is on his way to becoming the most overpaid actor in Hollywood. Again, you'd have to show me the article, but I don't doubt that some uh, commentator trying to uh, trade on being uh, a smarty pants wrote that. And you'd agree that there was another article in 2015 that says, quote, has Johnny Depp become Hollywood's biggest joke? I don't know. Netflix has a whole festival going now. Netflix is a joke. And you'd agree uh, that there is an article in Business Insider from 2015 that says Johnny Depp has his fifth box office bomb in a row. If, if that's what it said, it said. Are you just going to keep uh, reading this? I, well, I mean, this is Mr. Depp's reputation. That's what you're talking about in terms of in terms of Hollywood, correct? And in 2016, December of 2016, there's a quote. There's an article that says, "quote Johnny Depp is Hollywood's most overpaid actor for the second year in a row." Did you recall reading that? I know. Was that written by the second uh, uh, underpaid actor? Or and you would that agree that before the op-ed, there was negative publicity for Mr. Depp about assassinating President Trump. Would you agree? No, I missed that one.